so we can get to bed. I really wanna talk to you. That's the roof on this one. B4 wanna be check with a Teflon dome. B4 got the roof on the song. It be like say your boy showing you. That be why you didn't stand there like some statue. Hell no, get on the dance floor. Some fresh, fresh. Why the boys won't ask for more? What's in the way? Man, welcome, welcome to the studio. Hey, thanks, thanks for having me. How you doing? Good. I feel swag right now. <laughs> anyway, so Charlie, um, what exactly did you start doing music? Um, I wouldn't want to get into another cliche by saying, hey, I started rapping when I was in my Boy, mom's right, room yeah. and whatever. <laughs> but I say I've done music long enough in order to do good music that everybody can relate to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what was that time? What was that point in your life? Uh, you let me say the first the day, thing? the first day um, I put my own um, script on paper mm-hmm. was at the age of 14. In the days when I started, you know, I was a, a strictly hardcore hip hop rapper, you know, yeah. and I looked up to the, the, yeah, you know, the two packs, the Nas, the Jay Z's right, and stuff, right, you know. Right. Right. But now, you know, I'm on my own and I just found myself, you know, so I'm doing um, everything on my own now, you know, but then a few influences from here and there. So, you know. How has it been so far? Um, it's been great, but then there's been um, a couple of complications, you know, but it's been great. I have a lot of reservations with regards to the music industry here, you know, because exactly. when we started way back in the days, you know, um, um, it was hard for people to accept the fact that you're doing hip hop here in Ghana. Yeah. You know, so now we we all been compelled to, you know, switch around and do what the people want in order to get what you want, and then you move on. Mm-hmm. So you find the fact that a hip hop boy like me is going as zone two and all that. Exactly. You know, it's only for <laughs> yeah, things. for a reason and stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For I sure. just wanted to tell you, manager. Um, uh, can you introduce yourself, please? Okay, my name is very much, very much on bells. Yeah, and as a, you've been enjoying it for now because we've gone all over the festival chains that have happened so in GH right. yeah, so far. We've been there, we've actually done our promos and stuff, but we're about to get our video done before the end of the month, so maybe um, people should check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, back to the man that we know. Yeah. Right up, right up. So how has it been for you, though, from your point of view, the relationship with Michael? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's been difficult. You know, I've been a bully here and there. <laughs> most of the time, I want my things done this way, and you would have to. So um, I hear you know, artists are stubborn sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. You know, when when I want something done, um, I have no time for gimmicks until it's done. Then I think I can even breathe and laugh and stuff. You know, so we fight. Okay, I think I've seen that on Facebook as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we work in on that's that a relationship there. right there. Yeah, on that B six show. That's nice. Um, uh, so uh, what are we looking at? Promo CD, album release. Um, yeah, album release would have to be somewhere. Um, next year, so but now, work. yeah, I'm actually promoting my single, which is really doing well, Break Your Body, which is an Azoto song, so yeah. people might as well call me the hip hop boy going Azoto, you know, <laughs> and um, it's playing all over, you know, you go to TM everywhere, and it's banking, I don't know which like, TM well, boy? Um, Asheville boy with a TM swag, basically. Hey, <laughs> Asheville boy, why is everybody trying to affiliate themselves to TM? No, Ashaman, Ashaman like and that? TM, we are the same. You're like family? Yeah, there's no difference. Because yeah. everybody's trying to, I think everybody because they want to that's their yeah, We have the same people. Blow. You mess with an, um, a TM boy, you mess with an assignment. Mm-hmm. You mess with an assignment boy. You know, we, we relate like that. From your point of view, what's wrong with the music industry? Um, what would you like to see change in the next two years? Well, first of all, I think that um, it would have to do one, it would have to do with the benefits. Mm-hmm. You know, at the end of the day, you, you, you do music for 10 years and it's not worth it exactly. because you haven't made anything. Mm-hmm. So I think that is a very, very, very big problem. Mm-hmm. And one thing I have also noticed is that um, we do music and when a certain trend of music comes, everybody follows and there's yeah. no diversity in yeah. the kind of music we do. So and like right now it's all concentrated. Yeah, yeah it's all on our zone and stuff. And you can do any type of low tempo song, you know, that can talk sense or anything to the people. You'd have to follow suit. And that is really, really bad. It brings no creativity mm-hmm. to the music industry. And some people outside would think that Ghanaian musicians are not that creative. And it's because if you do, you don't follow. Um, yeah, you don't follow suit, and you do something else. And DJ wouldn't play. Yeah, you play know. Yeah, yeah for sure. Show. So you'd have to follow suit. You're compelled to do, you know, what the people want, and not what you mm-hmm. think is best. Uh, for the industry, so basically, I think that is a very big problem. And even though uh, I would have to follow suit, but then I have a problem with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plans yeah. just a phase for you. Yeah. Um, uh, but then, uh, looking at uh, oh shoot, I've got a question I was going to ask you. But then, looking at the industry right now, right, um, album sales and all that, do you think it's financially worth it for you to go? Into? 
Is this all? Is this what you're going to do? You're basically going to do music. That's all. Yeah, music is me. You know, I really want to. Everybody says that. Yeah, don't you have a background? Sure. Is there something else? Yeah, for sure. About? But you know, I done broadcasting too. You okay. know, I did radio for like two years. My nice. own private show. Was I that? was producing it. That was in Center Radio. Okay. You know, okay. it was being produ- uh, sponsored by a telecommunication company. I wouldn't want to mention name. Okay. You know, back then I, I had done it for like two years. Then okay. I had to go back and come back to music because that's, that's really that's me. Hard. Yeah. And talking about that, you know, CD sales and stuff. It's not working now, but I think there are a lot of mediums now you can generate income, not just from the CD, especially now. You, shows, you, yeah, shows. Yeah, you don't even need to put 15 songs together before you even start promoting. You need the first single when it's a hit, you play gigs, you sell them on iTunes, all of the networks and stuff. So you, we, we don't really concentrate on the CD sales now. You know, it's most of the times events, and then you, events you organize by yourself yeah. and shows you play and stuff. Good. It's nice that you have the media background because I think that's going to be a great advantage. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. where to go, what to yeah, do, for sure. how to push um, uh, your music, etc. Sure. But let's go into that Woody personally. I mean, if you're not in the studio, grinding hard, recording, what exactly is it that you're doing? Um, I'm, I'm not the outgoing type. We really. most of the time I'm indoors. You're so hardly, we're not going to find you in the then. Nah, I don't. I don't really do that. But when the time calls for it and it's necessary, what I'll is your be there. job? You just do it. Yeah, I do it. Yeah, like little you know what he says. Yeah, I'm okay. that type. You know, so most of the time, if I'm not in the studio, if I'm not writing, I'm home, relaxing, watching TV, reading, listening to. I listen to radio a lot. You know, exactly. like you come to you come to me and you'll be bored because my TV is there but it's off. I listen to radio from morning to like five o'clock. That's then nice. from six o'clock, I put on TV. That's nice. Do you ever see yourself going back to radio for any reason? For sure. For sure, I'll definitely go back to radio. You should. You're very comfortable with the mic right now. (laughs) This guy knows what he's doing. This guy knows what he's doing right there. Family. Did your family support you from day one when they were there? Man, I'll say, you know, my mom, my pop. You know, back in the days when I used to go for rap shows like. Vibe Cafe, you know, back in the days yeah, when yeah, Vibe Cafe used to be at the Trust Towers, um, um, uh, at the Braca, right? Yeah. yeah, when Bushke used to hold players ball and stuff. You know, my dad used to follow me there. For real? Yeah. He used to come, we pick a truck truck from home, you know, we go there. <laughs> I, I come with my colleagues, and he even motivates oh them, buy drinks for them, you know? Are you serious? Like, that's the type of, you know, the type of dad I have. You know, my wow. parents, they've been very supportive. That, that is that is a first in Ghana, you know? Yeah, yeah. You have sure. a brothel who was running away from home. So a studio running away from school because you have the black who was kicked out at home because yeah. he was following me. He, I mean, that was yeah, you know, he him. like he believes in me because he's seen a couple of like he, he knows the yeah. kind of potential the child has got and he thinks that he would have to coach him to get there. So with the small one he has, he pushes me. You know? That is beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. And my wow. mom's, I don't even want to talk. She's also there. You know, she's also supporting. They're probably listening right now. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Well, yeah I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure they're listening. I never even told them, but I'm um, sure. Are you married? You have a girlfriend? <laughs> you have a son? You have a daughter? Uh, I'm not married. I'm not married, but I'm currently talking to someone right now. What? Yeah, we are talking. Make sure she don't get jealous. But anyway, man, um, so so what's next for you in the next couple of weeks? December's packed with the event. I mean, yeah. you've been getting calls right there from 233 Live. A lot of people just promoting events and everything. I think yeah. from December 1st to 31st to January, a lot of you guys out there, you're going to have yeah. one to party from 1st to 31st to leave the events out there. Yeah. And great venues. What, what's coming out from um, you? There are a lot of events, though. You know, um, basically, 360 Degrees has got this, this dude, you know, um, one man. He, he is a, a really big boss with yeah. MTN and he's trying to put me on all the MTN platforms. So I started right. even already, you know, I've been playing gigs right. during the festival, you know, I've been playing gigs right. and I have videos of all that be on YouTube nice. and stuff. Nice. So, okay, you know, so, what's, so what is it What is it called on YouTube? Um, you just go DXD, find DXD on YouTube and you might see a lot of the videos. You just click on whatever you want. So I think that it would be a very so busy example you for you. Yeah, yeah nice to um, uh, Real quickly, could you give us all your um, Facebook, if you're on Twitter and all that? So uh, okay, so um, yeah, I'm on Twitter. Twitter. It's Dawini X Dawini. Um, Dawini X Dawini. X, 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 Dawini. Dawini. Followers, yeah, and then uh, Facebook, Dawini X Dawini. And my front page on Facebook is DXD. Because DXD is the name now, Dawini X Dawini. We're just using the acronym. Okay, so it's DXD. Yeah, uh, on Dawini. the front page and then D- uh, Dawini X Dawini Facebook account, you know. So for those of you going to download the podcast, that one is D A W U N I. That one is excellent. That one, yeah, right there, right before you jump out of here, man. Um, uh, I haven't had enough, but I've got the time. Of course, yeah, you, you have the time. Yeah, yeah. But then, uh, any shout outs, dedications, anybody who's helped you? Um, um, to where you are right now. First of all, I like to thank God for you know bringing me this far. It's been a long time coming, mm-hmm. and it's came and I like to thank 360 Degrees very much on bills. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mr. Sam, before who's been producing all the hard beats for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
my dancers, you know, have my choreographers, Nazi Black and Vita, you know, and everybody who before, yeah, before I already said the name, I want everybody who has been uh, who's been a very good support, you know, to me ever since I started to where, you know, I've gotten now. I just yeah. want to thank everybody. And Snares Beats, you know, my video editor. <laughs> right there, right there. So, um, I'd like to say thank you so much for coming through. Um, Jerry, you want to say anything before me. you go? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, let's, let's forget. Um, shout out to Mr. Yuma for uh, um, MT. Let me say, you might have TV3, actually, the uh, camera, the chief camera, he has been putting us on the music, music thing mm. and the rest of the TV3 shows. Okay. We see shout outs to him, shout outs to all my friends, my friends, my mom, and everybody who have been supporting me and following the fan page. And to you guys, you know, I've been yeah, worrying yeah. you guys ah, right. for things. And shout outs to DJ yeah, Jojo Wright, right, you know. <laughs> So right. thank you guys, you know, I right. really appreciate it. Thank you, so we'll keep your fans posted. Remember, right. you can download the interview by our podcast on omgh.wordpress.com. And it's going to be on all of uh, that Winnie Eggs and Winnie's pages on Twitter. And you can make it mention it from them. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for coming. Thanks for breaking in, guys. Live, 233 Live. New lookout. From Monday, you'll be hearing this track live on the track. This year, we are here. We're going to be Play ahead is who they play ahead. Make you shun them, make you shun them, shun them. Pop it up, 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 pop it up,